All eyes on the Indiana State Museum's IMAX for Oppenheimer, which opens this weekend. It's one of 30 locations in the world that offers a very unique theater experience. News 8's Camila Fernandez got a behind-the-scenes look at the preparations. Thousands of people will be pouring in at the Indiana State Museum IMAX to watch Oppenheimer. I grew up watching Christopher Nolan's movies, so I think it's a great you know, film to see. Theater manager Neil Johansson is excited about the turnout. He says they'll be showing the movie the way its director Christopher Nolan intended. It's really great to have uh, a theater like this in the city to be able to play a film like Oppenheimer on IMAX 70 millimeter film. Johansson says there were a lot of preparations behind the scenes to make it happen. He says the frames weigh more than 600 pounds and the film is 11 miles long from the first to last frame. Traditional 35 millimeter film uh, and then uh, standard 70 millimeter film that has five perforations compared to the IMAX version that's got 15. We're about 10 times the size of 35 millimeter and three times the size of standard 70 millimeter. So that means more detail, a brighter image, and a bigger image. It's, you know, the way it was intended to be seen is the way it was shot and filmed. And, uh, you know, it's just it's really impressive seeing it on that huge screen. And I don't know, it's just an awesome experience. Neil says fewer theaters offer this kind of experience. Lots of other theaters that had things like this in the past. Um, as they moved to digital, they, they got rid of their film projector. Um, it's expensive to run and maintain, uh, but we held on to ours. He says more and more people are moving quickly to buy tickets. Around 14,000 tickets have been sold and at least six showings are sold out. Neil says there will be moviegoers visiting from across the country and sometimes they'll pull out the red carpet to add to that Hollywood experience. I got tickets on the day of sale and they were already half sold out and so we didn't even get the seats that I wanted but I'm glad that we're still here. We're from Chicago so we're not even from here. This is a pretty big moment, a pretty big moment for a uh, film. In Indianapolis, Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com and like us on Facebook. Well, thank you. Hollywood isn't the only one with a, a film-filled weekend. Indy Shorts International Film Festival is coming to Indianapolis. It's presented by Heartland Films. The festival is set to showcase 165 films, all of them under 40 minutes. Screenings will be at the Living Room Theater, New Fields, and virtually. You can check it out Sunday to Tuesday.